and welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we have the culmination of the last few weeks of episodes. This is all getting together in this kind of absurd banana split. Now, before we get started, I'd like to remind everyone that we have an affiliate link with Chef's Temp. If you need a kitchen thermometer or meat probe, please check out the link in the description below and use code LOVEYOURFOOD on checkout for 15% off your order. In the meantime, here's the ingredients for this kind of silly dessert. So we've got some plantains. We've got the strawberry sauce, the caramel sauce, and the chocolate sauce. We've all done videos on those. This is our vegan uh, passion fruit ice cream, the vegan guava ice cream, the coconut ice cream as well, and a little bit of flour. We're using green banana flour for this. Now, again, all of the components of this recipe are vegan. This, the final result is a, a kind of silly uh, dessert, uh, but it is entirely vegan, uh, if, if that's important. Um, and it did come out really delicious. It was excellent. Uh, it's just a lot. It's <laughs> a really absurd kind of dish. Um, this was easily enough for three or four people uh, just doing this one recipe. So first thing we're going to do is we're cutting our plantain in half. And like a banana split, we're splitting, the, we're splitting it in half. Uh, so what we're going to do actually is deep fry it. So we've got our banana, ground banana flour here, our green banana flour. And you just want to add enough water to the green banana flour to make um, a, a batter similar in consistency to like a tempura batter. And it does help that if uh, your water is icy cold for this, because we are going to be deep frying this and you want it to be puffy and crispy. So just like tempura batter, you want to use cold, cold water for this and try to keep it as cold as you can. Now, if you really want uh, it to stick a little better, you probably could have dusted the... Um, uh, the plantain in uh, a little bit of cornstarch or something like that, and it would have stuck a little bit better. We didn't. It came out just fine. Uh, you can see it looks like it's not sticking very well, but once it gets into the oil, honestly, it sort of spreads out a little bit. It's just fine. It works very well. You can also use just regular banana for this. We just used plantain because it was convenient to us, and we just like the taste of fried plantain, so we decided to use plantains in this recipe. And you probably want to do this at a lower temperature for a longer time, just to make sure that they're cooked. And just like with tempura, you can drip some of the batter in there to get some nice crispy bits, which we used at the end of this recipe, and we'll show you that uh, towards the end. So once they're nice and golden brown and cooked all the way through, we're going to set these aside and let them cool a little bit while we assemble uh, everything together and get ready to uh, put this absurd, honestly, very absurd dessert uh, together. So in goes our deep fried battered, uh, plantain halves. And then we're going to add in our ice creams. So we've got that nice uh, vegan coconut ice cream. And then on the other side, we're going to have the uh, vegan passion fruit ice cream and the vegan guava ice cream. We let them warm up just a little bit so they're easy to, uh, easy to scoop. And there you go. So there's our ice creams. And then on top of that, we added uh, all of our sauces. So we're starting with our uh, caramel sauce. So actually, that's, that's the chocolate sauce. A little bit of the chocolate sauce. A little bit of just strawberry coulis, which we did ages ago. We did the chocolate and the uh, caramel sauce here. We did that last week. And we're just going to drizzle that caramel on top as well. And then uh, we're going to add in some of those little crispy bits, which actually brought a lot to the plate. They were delicious. They were crispy. Uh, they had a slightly banana flavor because they're made out of banana flour and they really kind of brought everything together. And if you want to garnish that with a little bit of mint, you can, whatever. It's kind of a silly thing, but that's it. That's the whole thing. So uh, this is the culmination of the last, you know, few recipes we've done uh, to put this, you know, absurd vegan dessert together. And we hope you'll give it a try. If you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. We'd like to thank our patrons on Patreon. I'll put a link for that in the description below as well. And remember to love your food.